Hi everyone. In this video, we are going to solve this integration with the help of Cauchy's residue theorem. Okay. Just in previous video, we have seen the definition of Cauchy's residue theorem. So it's time to use this theorem to solve this integration, right? So let me write a given integration first. We have, let us call it as I integration over C 3z square plus z upon z square minus 1 dz okay so see uh, i will give more importance to this c close curve c okay so what is close curve c they have mentioned c is a circle where c is a circle what is equation of circle mod z is equal to 2 okay so let me tell you what is the standard equation of circle the standard equation of circle is mod z minus z naught is equal to r. This is the standard equation of circle. Its center is z naught and its radius is r. So this is standard equation of circle. So what will I do? I will compare this equation with that one. You can easily see z minus nothing is there. Actually what we have z minus z naught. But here we don't have any z minus anything so that's why our z naught is 0 so here center z naught z naught is what 0 so we write it as 0 0 radius which is nothing but this right hand side radius so which is 2 so let me draw a circle with center 0 0 radius 2 okay i will i am drawing the rough sketch imaginary axis real axis okay Okay, let us take some scaling 1, 2, 1, 2 and so on. So, circle will be like this. Okay, here 2, 0, minus 2, 0 like that. Okay, that's it. So, this is the circle we have. So, let us focus on the function now. Okay, so what is the function we have? Let me write. So here f of z is 3z square plus z upon z square minus 1. Okay. See they have given a f of z but see at a denominator we have a polynomial. So that's why I will find its factors. You know this a square minus b square formula a square minus b square which is a plus b a minus b same formula I am using. You, instead of even 1, you can take 1 square. So, using that formula, what will I get? This is 3z square plus z upon z plus 1, z minus 1. Okay. So, function uh, denominator I express in this way. So, you have to solve this. We have to solve this integration with the help of Cauchy's residue theorem. That theorem says, first of all, we have to find the singular points of a given function which lied inside this circle. We have to find what? Singular points of that function which lies inside the circle. After that, we have to find residue at those points. By adding them and by applying Cauchy's, uh, that Cauchy's residue theorem, we get the final answer, right? So let us find the singular point. Singular points means what? The point where the denominator will be 0 or the function won't be analytic. z is equal to minus 1 will give us denominator 0 z is equal to 1 will give us denominator 0. So, 1 and minus 1, these are singular points. So, let me mention here, f is not analytic, that means singular point at z is equal to 1 and z is equal to minus 1. So, now the next question is those points lie inside or outside. Since we have to find residue only at those points which lie inside okay let us find one so one will be here right so the first singular point is here one second is minus one minus one is here so both singular points lie inside the circle that go see that means we have to find residue at both points let us do that let me remove this part okay so both points both points lie inside c okay so that means we have to find residue both are c 
simple pool simple pool since uh, having bracket with power 1 okay power of both brackets is 1 so that's why pool of order 1 we also call them as simple pool so let us find residue okay one by one residue of f of z at z is equal to 1 so it's a simple pool so that's why we have very simple formula to calculate residue so that formula is limit z tends to 1 z minus 1 f of z so limit z tends to 1 z minus 1 what is our f of z 3 z square plus z upon z plus 1 z minus 1 tell me can we cancel anything yes definitely that z minus 1 z minus 1 will get cancelled and we have a function 3z square plus z upon z plus 1 so we have to apply the limit means what at a place of z simply we have to put 1 okay i'm going to put z is equal to 1 everywhere let us see what will happen so this is 3 1 square plus 1 here in denominator so 1 plus 1 so this is 4 by 2 which is 2 so i got the residue which is 2 similarly we have to find residue of f at z is equal to minus okay i will do it just make a screenshot of it then we will go further so let us continue so residue of f residue of f of z at z is equal to minus 1 see it is also a simple pool so same type of formula i'm going to use so limit z tends to minus 1 z minus minus 1 minus minus plus f of z okay so limit z tends to minus 1 z plus 1 what is our f of z that 3 z square plus z upon z plus 1 z minus 1 right so tell me can we cancel anything yes definitely this z plus 1 z plus 1 will get cancelled so now we can apply the limit to the remaining terms that means simply at a place of z i am going to put minus 1 huh? let us see what will happen so this is 3 minus 1 square plus minus 1 upon minus 1 minus 1 so this is 3 minus 1 upon minus 2 oh, right now this is 2 upon minus 2 minus 1 so i got the residue minus 1 so we have actually two poles and we both poles lie inside c and we found out the residue at both poles. So let us apply Koch's residue theorem. Therefore, by Koch's residue theorem, that theorem says integration over C, 3z square plus z upon what we have, z square minus 1 dz. The theorem says 2 pi i sum of residues okay we have to take the sum of residues so 2 pi i first residue is 2 and second is minus 1 2 minus 1 1 so that means the final answer is 2 pi so this is required answer okay this is the value of given integral so make a screenshot of it and then we will stop thank you see you next video